Hi everyone, welcome to Culture of Paint. This is Wine Fest of Golden Demon 2023. Hi everyone, it's Henry again, and this time I'm joined by Kerry, and the banner for her Instagram thing will be here, and Twitter. Lots of Twitter, or just, no, it's Instagram, isn't it? It's Instagram and YouTube. Yeah, and YouTube, yes, of course. Um, so, Kerry, like lots of other people we've been chatting to today, recently did the Hobby Challenge yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday. Yes. So you go along, and there's just like, there's 40k sprue, yeah. there's AOS sprue, yeah. There's uh, loads of like uh, mechanical stuff. There's ruins yeah, cool there. Yeah, loads of scenery stuff. Yeah, and uh, and then you just take what you want. Right. And then you take it to your chair, and then you just crack on. Now I went for a kind of Temple of Doom kind of style where there was going to be some kind of throwdown in this abandoned Age of Sigmar temple. Although I had the Dark Oath Chieftain, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do on the other side. Um, but I found uh, this little Fire Slayer guy nice. who then I thought, right, that's going to blend into um, a really cool confrontation. So I had one little stoic Fire Slayer on one side and one Dark Oath on the other side. Beautiful. So how long have you got to do it, the day? Um, so we get, you can get there from 8 and you can go all the way up until 6 o'clock. Right. So wow. 10 hours, I think. And the idea is to paint it too? Paint it too and submit it. So how many hours in were you now thinking about OSL? Oh no, like straight away. I nice. was like, this is good. Nice. We could have done this Big. in Golden Demon. It's nice. fine. Yeah, yeah, nice. of course I can. Right. Um, yeah, no, I was still building like four or five hours in. Right, <laughs> so, uh, right. okay. that may give you a, a hint of where the finished project was. What did you pick though? What spruce did you get? And what, what was your vision going in? Did you have a game plan or did you just go see what was there and ad lib it? So from the two models that we could pick, I picked the Commissar because yep. I thought he looked the coolest model. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I wanted to get uh, either like executing someone or something because of the pose. Cool. Um, couldn't find anything that he could be executing. So um, I ended up getting some of the Age of Sigmar terrain, like the steps and stuff. And then I was like, how can I make these 40K? So I got some pipes and just stuck some pipes on it because oh, nice. pipes make everything sci-fi. Absolutely, yeah, um, that, that tracks. And just sort of did that, just sort of did like a, some steps with the pipe coming out and then him just stood like a lone soldier, just sort of guarding a nice. power reactor or something. So was there any other kits you used that you were like, oh, I've not seen that one before. Oh, I'm, I'll, I'll pick that up. That's going in the bits box at home kind of thing. Man, well, I, I can tell you that because of the sprues that were available, they actually kind of treated us to some bits that, you know, like weren't currently on sale or like some, really? That's yeah, cool. there was some really cool, like exclusive kind of stuff. I yeah. think there was, um, one of the exclusive storm casts from like the magazine, you know, where yeah, you, yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah. couldn't get anywhere That's else. Cool. So I was, cool. they were really treating us good. Nice. Uh, painting, what were you thinking? Massive dry brush? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Black and white uh, concept? Contrast paints. Nice, Contrast there we go. Contrast paints right. yeah, 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 your yeah, friend yeah, yeah. and dry brushing. Yeah. Um, and you can achieve so many good things with dry brushing yeah, as well. Yeah, and the cool. contrast paints are amazing to use. Um, and I've made the mistake before where I've tried to do a speed painting challenge with normal paints mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it takes a lot longer. <laughs> they're great, right. don't get me wrong, they're Did great. Did you have any hair dryers? No. I can't no. hobby without a hair dryer. Really? They need me feedback, they need, especially contrast paint. I find contrast paint takes forever. No? No, I was good. Wrong. I think you need some tips. <laughs> anything else that stood out? I mean, were you sat next to anyone doing something really ridiculous? I heard someone oh. made a, literally made a Warhammer out of. Yes, somebody uh, made a Warhammer and a crown. Right. Oh, no. And a crown, <laughs> that looked phenomenal. Um, some people found some of the most random sprues. Um, somebody found an orc kill team and was able to do like an orc kill team on like a rig. That was beautiful. But the really impressive pieces were the Commissars. Because there, there wasn't a lot of 40k mini uh, like sprues. Yeah, yeah. So being able to find those sprues and create something beautiful was super impressive. Right. And any sprues in there that you didn't know about and you're now like, I'm getting that for the bits box? Josh was like banging on about how cool the temple stuff was. Yeah, the temple like, stuff yeah, was yeah. absolutely beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely beautiful.
Hi everyone, it's Henry again, and this time joining me is Liam. Hello, bud. So Liam's tag thing will be along the bottom here, the map puts it in, but Liam's a legit painter. I don't know, are you like a, a self-promotion guy or not? Yeah, I mean... Uh, He's a very, very good painter. Go and check this tag out, it's really cool. I'm okay. And you've entered Golden Demon. I have. Your first? No, my third officially. Third officially. Yeah, but, well. Did you so, used to go in under pseudonyms? I kind of just did it like, I'll throw something in, pre-COVID. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, Do you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And yeah, then yeah. the last one I did was a, was a serious attempt. Yeah. And then obviously, again, serious attempt this one. Seriously, yeah, a very serious attempt. I am here with Josh, whose Instagram handle will be somewhere along the screen just here. Uh, it's Josh's first time entering Golden Demon, so we're going to catch up with him briefly about that experience. So, yeah. Josh, this is your first GD. <laughs> How have you found it? Bro, it is amazing. Yeah? It's exciting, man. Honestly, I've come, I haven't been able to like come to an event like this in a very long time. And when I do come to like a previous Warhammer Fest, I never enter GD. Uh, so I thought I'd try, yeah, yeah. see if I can see if I can get some of it and just give it a go in the nice. atmosphere. It's just been really nice seeing old friends and new faces as well. So yeah, man, loving it. The duel. So the duel is a really interesting one because oh, well, if you do say so yourself. So. Well, the thing with the duel is I lost so much interest in it, and it, it's very inconsistent. And this is one of the big learning points for me for, for this year is if I lose in, if I go too big and lose interest the consistency drops off. So that will cost me a golden demon. If I, and, and this is just being real, consistent result is very important for golden demon. So if I get a commended with a jewel, I'm happy with a jewel, I'd like to point out, but if I get commended, that would be an amazing result because it's a very inconsistent result across the whole thing. But it would be very wrong for me to say I don't like the piece because I'm really happy with it. Yeah. So what did you enter for this genie for your first, first go? Oh gosh, okay, so I entered Kaido Ezekiel. I think that's how you pronounce yeah, his name, right? Yeah. There, and the guy on the tree. Yeah. And that's why I think, I think it was, yeah. on, um, it was on Warhammer community website as well, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, and then I entered my Gal Vorback because I love the model. Real. So single miniature, uh, age single, single miniature, and then uh, Warhammer 40K squad. Nice, that's what I entered, good so, entries. Yeah, yeah, how did yeah. you go about entering the, the minutes, so when you were thinking about the process of painting them for Golden Demon, yeah, yeah, how yeah. did you find painting knowing what the level of Golden Demon is and <laughs> sort of trying to push yourself to that level? How was that? Panic! Yeah. <laughs> Panic! Because, like, I see, so you see, right, one of the things like Instagram, you see all these amazing painters, right? Yeah. And it's very, it can be a bit demoralizing when you know you're not there. Yeah. But, so, for this though, I didn't paint for Golden Demon, I just painted the model that I enjoyed, and I said, okay, Here's my collection. What do I actually like of uh, what I've got? Yeah. And I just brought that. And I think that's a good way to do it at the, at the start. Just have fun with it. Because it's my first one. And so what I did is I just took some time um, when I was painting. Ooh, Why did ooh. you get to talk to Josh? Because oh. I, I'm special. Oh I'm the preferred, the preferred one, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> So before we were very rudely interrupted by our friend Steeler there, yeah. uh, you were saying about how you painted something, uh, just you wanted to paint the best of it yeah. and then you get into it, which I think yeah. Yeah, it's a really good way of doing it. I think especially for your first one as well. Yes. Because yeah, you'll, yeah, yeah. you'll, you'll, you'll do that, you'll enter it and you'll get some feedback hopefully about how That's you got it. on That's and where, where you are with yeah. it. And then you can use this as kind of like your benchmark to then kind of push yeah. on and progress yeah. through. What's your favorite piece? And who are you tipping for the sword? Oh, right. So there's loads of amazing pieces. There are loads. So yeah. my two favourite is going to be Maxine, is is Nurgle. Yes. Right. It's incredible. Albert's elf, not high elf. Yeah. Um, those two are my favourite. There's a couple of other really cool ones in there. I I, I, I think either of those for the sword. I'm putting my money on Albert. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm putting my money on Albert is I kind of feel like when, when something is that amazing, right, and when painters are that incredible, how do you find mistakes in those guys which you don't? So what's, my logic here is it's gonna become, actually what one's got the impact? And Albert's has got a little bit more detail to it for them to go, oh, that's nice. And Maxime's is very, is much simpler. So I'm, I'm putting my money on Albert. They're both my favorite pieces. They both deserve a sword, in my opinion, but they're both not gonna get it. Swords for everyone. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, well, me, clearly. I'll, everyone. I, I deserve the sword more than everyone. <laughs> yes, um, but my money's on Albert, and those are my favorite. Without a doubt. Yeah. Do you think it's something that you can see yourself entering more of in the future? I was, so like I was saying, it was quite intimidating at first, yeah. but actually coming to the event and looking at what's there, you can see that, one, it's, it's, it's achievable, but then you also see the dedication you need. And yeah. that's where it comes in, so you need to make that decision to actually commit to something and that's what Golden Demon is, it's a commitment.
We are here. It is the end of Warhammer Fest slash Golden Demon 2023. 2023. It's 2023. Uh, it's been a very long weekend. It's been really good fun. Um, how have you found it, chaps? Amazing. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, the, the people's been the best bit, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, miniatures are cool. Golden Demon's been insane. Yeah. But for the first time being out in the wild as a, a full crew. Yeah. And getting to meet people that have watched stuff. Yeah. And enjoyed it and loads of people who've been like oh I entered Demon for the first time yeah, like watch really this good. video or thanks to this and yeah. it's, it's awesome it's like, super overwhelming actually yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. um, it's lovely yeah it's been amazing um, but talking to so many people the pressure to keep doing stuff really yeah yeah, yeah. what it's, about you I think it's, yeah it's been a great event it's been nice to like on a personal level to get back into painting Demon again which has been really good fun but yeah, the, the people for sure, you know, it's been really, really cool to see everybody and for them to come down and chat and, you know, share a bit of their work with us and just how they found the podcast. Like that feedback's great for us. Yeah. You know, it keeps us going. Yeah. It's really nice to see to see everybody sort of enjoying it and how many people love your voice. Yeah. So next, um, we didn't <laughs> manage to get that commended walk around, which we were hoping to get because it's just mad here. The judging went on for like... 28 they weren't there something. basically yeah, the, the commended not, stuff weren't in the cabinet the stuff was there for us to film no. um, but you will see it all either on community or from us depending on what we're allowed to do uh, we don't know yet um, but it was um, it was amazing and and obviously as you will see lots of people did really well yeah. uh, I'm really happy yeah. for yeah. Um, so yeah. I guess we'll just sort of finish off with a massive, massive thank you to everybody that came and said hi, everybody that posted about our work, everyone that posted or said anything about the, 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 the podcast or the YouTube videos and just came and said hello to us. For me and I think for both of us, all of us, it, that's been like the highlight is to meet everybody. Yeah. So that is kind of a wrap. Yeah. And so, Matt's a hero behind the camera. Yeah, massive shout out to <laughs> our man Matt. Without you, we would be lost. There you go. He's now yeah. got a lot of editing and a lot of spreadsheeting. Should we go and get a pint? Yeah. Fuck it, let's go get a pint. Thanks, <laughs>